Hello viewer, welcome to the video course of Advancement with Security Automation using Ansible Security and Related Area. You can reach me through my Twitter handle for any clarification. This video course is the continuation of the video course Getting Started with Ansible 2 Security Automation which is also released by the PactPub. This video course is divided in total 6 sections. In the first section, we will cover user management with Ansible which include creation of multiple SSH user in the given inventory file, configuration of the SSH authorized key for each user, granting the sudo access, deletion of multiple user in the given inventory file. In the second section, we will learn HTTPD Apache 2 web server hardening, which include installation of HTTPD web server, applying the least privilege principle, applying the strong TLS protocol and cipher, and many other security parameters. In the third section, we will learn operating system hardening and cover these topic. Sys control hardening, which include various network parameter hardened configuration, an Ansible playbook run example, process hardening, restricting core dumps, adding the SSH warning banner, removing services from the OS, which is not used, activating GPG check for the software update, rootkit detection, and scheduling the jobs. In the fourth section, we will learn advanced use of Ansible. In this section, we will cover few more advanced concept of Ansible and Ansible Tower, which include Ansible Tower system tracking and factor fact value, Ansible dynamic inventory example containing AWS EC2.py dynamic inventory scripts, and Ansible Tower LDAP integration. In the fifth section, we will learn security governance aspect and learn security governance concept and how to use Ansible to achieve this. The CIA tried an Ansible use case which include AWS EC2 hardening, continuous hardening, port scanning using Ansible, finding the vulnerabilities and patching of the system. In the last section, we will learn Ansible and Windows which include Ansible installation of Windows, managing Windows using Ansible, Python PYWinRM package, PowerShell use case, Ansible Windows module and Ansible support for different network vendor. So what we are waiting for? Let us jump to the first section of this video course, User Management with Ansible.